Today, I'm going to be giving you a list of consoles that the Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 SoC is able to emulate. This isn't to say that every game for a console that I mentioned today will be playable on this chip, but instead, I hope to give you an idea as to what your limits are when you have a device with this chipset and you want to emulate some console games with it. The Snapdragon 870 from Qualcomm is actually a nice little chip for emulating console games. We see it performing slightly worse than the flagship level 865 and 865 Plus chips, but it's still able to hold its own against them as well. Currently, the most popular phones with this chip include the Poco F3 and the Poco F4, the Motorola Edge 20 Pro, the Black Shark 5 from Xiaomi, and even the OnePlus 9R. So what type of games can you expect to emulate with an Android smartphone or tablet that has the Snapdragon 870 chipset? Well, naturally, you can easily emulate some of the con retro consoles like Atari, the Nintendo and Super Nintendo, the Master System and Genesis, and all of those other console games from that era. This also means that the chip will be able to handle retro handheld games as well, including the Game Boy, the Game Gear, the Game Boy Advanced, Nintendo DS and Nintendo 3DS games, Sony PSP, and Sony Vita games should all be emulated quite well on the Snapdragon 870 chipset. Now moving on to some more modern games, the 870 should easily be able to emulate great games on the Nintendo 64, the PlayStation 1, even the PlayStation 2, the Xbox, the Dreamcast, and the GameCube. And as far as current consoles go, the emulation scene has not matured enough to play new Xbox or PS5 games. I wouldn't even expect to see PS4 or PS3 games running well on the chip, although there may be some PS3 classics that are stable enough to be emulated on Android. However, the Nintendo Switch has had a lot of progress on Android lately, but I don't see this chip emulating those more demanding games very well, if at all. I am unable to get Switch ports of older games like Batman Arkham City to run well even on the latest flagship chip from Qualcomm, so I don't see the 870 doing any better. However, there are a number of 2D games on the Nintendo Switch that will run great on this chip, and this will be especially true for ports of indie games like Celeste as well. Now there could be some 3D Switch games that run well on this chip but I just don't have the data to say which ones. So if you have an Android smartphone or tablet with the Snapdragon 870 SoC, and you have tested game emulation with it, then please use the comment section below to share which consoles ran well on your device. And if you were able to test some Nintendo Switch games with it, that would be even better as the community is heavily invested in Switch emulation at the moment with the help of emulators like Yuzu, Skyline, Strato, or EggNS.